come down. Then you're going to say he abused my child. If you had to take care of that issue on a lower level. Now it's the behavior. Then from the behavior, it's a habit. That's all they know is somebody do something. Got that habit. They didn't add it to it. Now it's addiction. They didn't add it and add it and got stronger now. Then it's a lifestyle. The only way you can change. Three things I told you cause you to change. Number one, if you hurt bad enough that you have to. Number two, if you're educated enough that you know how to. And number three, if you make enough money that you are able to. Those are the things that call you to change. But the best one is, is you're educated enough that you know how to. Because if you're educated enough and you get God's words and you know that God's principles is right. You know God's principles is right. God, the principles of God said thou shalt not lie. That's right. You don't, you even don't care what you are. You don't not lie, lie. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery. Love your neighbor as yourself. All of those things, those are principles. They're God principles. Learn how to do that. So when a person gets addicted to something, to change the addiction, they have to go back to number one. Change the environment. Change the environment. That's why they send them off to a place where there's nobody smoking crack every day. Nobody, you know, hitting needles every day. They take them out of the environment. Nine or ten months or a year. Take them out of the environment. So when they take them out of the environment, guess what happened? They get new attitudes. Guess what happened? After they get a new attitude, they get new what? Character. That new character develop a what? New behavior. And that behavior becomes a... And that lifestyle becomes another habit. But that's a good habit. A good habit. But now... You can bring them back out there and they go back into the same environment and that good habit they had came out of with a smile and everything. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you, brother. And put them back in that place. Next thing you see, they don't say God bless you. They walk by. <laughs> you know they've been to the boogeyman house. <laughs> they done changed their environment. Stand on your feet, everybody.